All right, now tomorrow, President Biden already has something on schedule. He's going to greet the family of George Floyd at the White House. Now, as I said on the radio today, this is a humane thing to do, because tomorrow is the one-year anniversary, May 25th, 2020, of Mr. Floyd's death at the hands of Minneapolis police. So if I were president, I would certainly meet with the family. I mean, there's no doubt I would. And I would say we're working very, very hard at the federal level, and most states are as well, to make sure this never happens again. And, and I would give the family the respect the family deserves. So if you object to that, if anybody objects to that, you need to write me why. Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com, because I think this is a good thing. However, I'm not going to say this is the primary reason Mr. Biden is doing it, but it's one of the reasons. So the president wants to pass a new police reform bill, all right? And it's the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, okay? It's already passed the House by a very slim margin. I don't think it's going to pass the Senate, but... Uh, Mr. Biden wants to put pressure on the Republican senators to pass this bill. The problem with the bill, and, and it is problematic, okay, is that it has in it eliminating qualified immunity for law enforcement, all law enforcement. So if you make an arrest, the person you arrest can sue you if you're a cop and you can't afford to pay those lawsuits, to pay those lawyers, and the unions will quickly get bankrupt if they do. So this destroys the criminal justice system in the United States. I'm not even getting into the other stuff. I mean, ban no-knock warrants and all that. That would hurt the criminal justice system. But this would destroy it. Now, once again, the question becomes, does Joe Biden know that? Does he understand that? Is he, um, is he capable enough to understand that by including this in the bill, you destroy American law enforcement everywhere. You, you answer the question. Now, you know the progressive left wants to destroy law enforcement. They don't want to have an effective criminal justice system. They want to let the criminals go. That's the progressive mantra. It has been that way for decades. All right. So I don't believe any Republican senator is going to vote for this. And so they'll filibuster it. But that's why this George Floyd family meeting is taking place, in addition to the humane aspect of it. Now, a guy who's leading this destroy the police is Benjamin Crump. Do you know that name? He's the lawyer who's made millions and millions of dollars representing the families of people that the police have mistreated. OK, Crump has made tens of millions of dollars, but he's also leading the charge to dismantle policing in the USA. Roll the tape. We all pray that George Floyd was the tipping point that it would uh, lead to a new precedent where we would see uh, a reduction in these unjustified, unnecessary killings of black people in America. However, we have been reminded repeatedly that we still have a long way to go. All right. Now, you can disdain Mr. Crump, but he has some evidence on his side. On May 21st, um, some video was released by the state of Louisiana. Very disturbing video. All right, a guy in 2019, Ronald Green, was pulled over by Louisiana state troopers, punched, dragged, they stun gunned him, and he died. Now, the troopers said that he died because he crashed his SUV into a tree. That was not true. The cops killed him. All right, and it's hor horrifying video. Now, Mr. Green was, according to coroner, under the influence of cocaine and alcohol when he died. But that doesn't mean that police can kill you. So this is Union Parish in Louisiana. 
So this is the kind of stuff that gives Benjamin Crump and the progressive left ammunition, sorry to use that word, but I have to, to destroy police. So it's very few police officers that do this, but it's done. And now with video all over the place, it becomes a thousand times more intense because you can see it. So I I don't know with 80,000 law enforcement officers in America, you're always going to have some of that. It's not I'm not making an excuse. But if you if you destroy the entire criminal justice system. Because you have some rogue cops, bad cops, then we all are in danger. 